Sam and I are really excited because today is uh, first annual Joe and Sam's Christmas special for Coon Hounds. We are going to play a few songs, and uh, I'm going to try to get you guys to donate to American Black and Tan Coon Hound Rescue. Now, don't be fooled. They handle all kinds of coon hounds, not just black and tans, because Sam, of course, is a red bone coon hound. Um, and they also handle bloodhounds. Uh, so they... At, Coon hounds have always, since I was a little boy, I watched where the Redfern grows, and I remember begging my parents my entire boyhood for a um, red bone coon hound. And finally, when I graduated college and I could make my own irresponsible decisions, I got Ruby June, who our logo is based off of, a picture of her. And I have, of course, Sam. She passed away a couple years ago, and I got Sam. And uh, you all know Sam. He's um, actually Mr. July and the uh, in Coon Hounds of Instagram's calendar. We just got that yesterday, so super excited. Anyways, there are four ways for you to donate today, and you can donate at any point. One, there is a PayPal link that will go to me, but then everything that you guys donate today from that link to PayPal is going to go right to um, Black American Black and Tan Coon Hound Rescue. So that will be in full every cent. I'm not keeping any of that, I promise. Um, the second way is you can share this video for every time you share. This video, I'm going to donate a quarter, 25 cents, to the Coon Hound Rescue. I do that personally. You can buy merchandise at joestanband.com slash merch. And 25% uh, of that, every sale today, today only, will go to the Coon Hound Rescue. Or I also put a link uh, down there for them um, for, to coonhoundrescue.com where you can go and that shows you where they can. You can donate directly to them. I don't really have to have a part of it. It's not about me. So, anyways, Merry Christmas, everybody. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to play some of my Christmas favorites, um, some a bit out unconventional. Um, but this first one is a song, and I don't know who originally did it. I don't know who wrote it, but uh, it's a it's on one of my John Denver albums. So I got a I got a John Denver Christmas LP, and I I just think it's I think it's hilarious. So. Anyways, I still don't know if it's a joke or if it's supposed to be funny or not. It's in a major key, but it's kind of sad. I don't know. It's called, uh, let me show you play it for you. Hey, Sam. Say hi to everybody. <laughs> Please, Daddy, don't get drunk this Christmas. I don't see my mama cry. Please, Betty, don't get drunk this Christmas. I don't see my mama cry. Just last year when I was only seven. Now I'm almost dead, as you can see. Came home a quarter past eleven. Fell down underneath our Christmas tree. Please, Daddy, don't get drunk this Christmas. I don't see my mama cry. Please, Daddy, don't get drunk this Christmas. I don't see my mama cry. My dad never got drunk on Christmas. Actually, I don't know if I've ever seen my dad drunk. But I've been trying to make it up for him ever since I turned 21. I'll be doing the same thing this Christmas. I'll try to keep Sam sober, though. I'm a smile that looked outside her window. She told me, son, you better go upstairs. Then you laughed and hollered, Merry Christmas. I turned around and saw my mama's tears. Please, Daddy, don't get drunk this Christmas. I don't see my mama cry. Please, Daddy, don't get drunk this 
this Christmas. I don't want to see my mama cry. Yeah, no, I don't want to see my mama cry. Sammy, don't get drunk. Come here, Sammy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Got to bribe the son of a bitch to hang out with me half the time. So Merry Christmas, everybody. Thank you for all of you folks that have been joining me throughout. You can, of course, go back and start from the beginning if you haven't. Um, if nothing else, if nothing else, doing this Christmas special um, is a great excuse to start drinking at 2 o'clock on a Thursday afternoon, right? I got a little crown. I opened up a Christmas present. I wrapped myself a Christmas present of bush lights. So we're going to have those. And I'm sorry, Sam. I got a little foam on Sam's face. Uh, if you guys have any questions or want to ask me anything or want to ask about coon hounds or want to ask about American Black and Tan Coon Hound Rescue, um, you can type them there. I'll try to keep track of them. Uh, Merry Christmas, Abby. Thanks for joining, Matt. Good to see you all. This next song was a Christmas staple in my house. It's a horrible song. I mean, it's really, really, really freaking cheesy. Um, but I remember my mom used to play it all the time, and I, I've never really heard it anywhere else until I looked it up. But Alabama did this in a al Christmas album back in 1987. And I can't figure out if it's creepy or if it's... I don't know. I think they thought maybe they were going to start a new like holiday character and tradition. Hey, Wally, thanks for hanging out. Um, but I don't know. It's called Thistle Hair of the Christmas Bear. And I, I will never forget. This was, a, this was just a staple around, around Christmas at my house when, when I was a kid. Let's see. Or you can ask me. Okay. Or you can ask Shannon about American Black and Tan Coon Hound Rescue. Um, these... And she probably knows a lot better than me. She's directly involved with with the organization. Uh, and after this song, I'm going to talk a little bit more about coon hounds and 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 what these folks do and why coon hounds in particular are are such a an issue in shelters and uh, uh, throughout throughout particularly certain regions in America. Cody, thanks for joining, man. It's good to see you. All right, but but first. Thistle Hair the Christmas Bear. City's full of manger saints, stores lit up in red and green. Down the road, just out of town, there's more magic to be found. Countryside is all alone. Holly trees and mistletoe. In them woods there lives a bear. We all know it's this old hair. This old hair, the Christmas bear. Spreading the good news everywhere about Christmas time and what it means. And all the children of the world, every little boy and girl out there. Sam loves this old hair. Hey, Holly. <laughs> it comes around this time of year, spreading lots of Christmas cheer. Kids all of his shiny coat, and still money on his nose. He tells them all about the song and everything. Stands for the birthday we all celebrate. It's our favorite holiday. There's this old hair, the Christmas bear, spreading the good news everywhere about Christmas time and what it means. All the children of the world, every little boy and girl out there, loves this old hair. Seriously, has anybody else ever heard of this song? I would love to know if anybody else has heard of this <laughs> stupid song. Wherever you find a 
and thistle hair. There'll be magic in the air. Dances round the Christmas tree every single New Year's Eve. Then all that man is furry friends gather around the fire again. Sing about them angel wings. Gifts of love Christmas brings. It's a bear, the Christmas bear. Spread the good news everywhere about Christmas time and what it means. All the children of the world, every little boy and girl out there. Loves this hey. There you have it, folks. This will hair the Christmas bear. If you want to hear that again, you can go to Alabama's Christmas album from 1987, I believe. Uh, Sam, come here. Come here. Sam, come here. Anyways, folks. So, as as many of you personally know me, I am a I am a coon hunter. I, I hunt raccoons with this guy right here. Um, but I tell everybody he is a pet first, and a um, and a hunting dog second. He sleeps in my bed for the first fifteen minutes or so. Then he goes to his own bed, which is a full like full pin mattress in the other room. He has his own room. Um, he's spoiled rotten. Uh, he never sleeps outside. In any case, uh, a lot of hunters do not treat their dogs like family and friends. They treat them like tools. I, I know a lot of these guys. Um, there's a lot of guys I don't know who are even worse. Um, a lot of times these dogs, if they don't pan out, like if they can't treat coon, then they get abandoned. Um, they get dumped in the woods. They get dropped off at animal shelters. Um, some of them are even just killed. Uh, and in the, particularly in regions throughout the U.S. where where coon hunting is popular, um, these these dogs show up in in animal shelters uh, like crazy. And the folks at American Black and Tan Coon Hunt Rescue take a lot of these dogs off the streets, rehabilitate them. Um, they've been abused. They're again, they're just treated like tools. So, um, I, again, I've always had a special place in my heart for animals, and uh, particularly coon hounds. So that's why I wanted to donate the proceeds to this show to um, American Black and Tan Coon Hunt Rescue because. I'd, I'm on the road too much. I don't. I, there's no way I could foster dogs or anything. So I want to support the people that, that can. Um, I hope there's a time in my life where I can, where I can actually do that. But that's just it's just not feasible. I wouldn't it wouldn't be able to do the dog justice. My dad can babysit one coon hound, but I don't know if he could handle them anymore. But these dogs are wonderful. Um, they're as easy to train as any other breed, um, with you know consistency and. And commitment to just just like any dog, um, they're they're wonderful pets. They're great with with other with other animals. We have, we have a, another cat, Milton, uh, and he, Sam's great with him. Um, they're great with kids. They're great. They're they're just they're just wonderful creatures. So that's why I wanted to dedicate this performance and this stupid show to to them. So again, uh, there's a PayPal link. You can donate. All that will go to Coonan Rescue. Uh, you can share this. I'm going to donate a quarter to everyone that shares it. You know, if we can get 400 shares, which shouldn't be that hard to do, that's 100 bucks. You know, that I can, that I'm personally going to send to those folks. Uh, you can donate directly to them, or any merchandise you buy at the JoeStanban.com store today is going to be 25% uh, of the, the right off the top is going to go to. Um, let's see. Let's. See. Uh, I had some comments here. Let me get. Let me look at these. Old friend, Oak Ridge Boys LP is your classic for Christmas night. Uh, you're very welcome, teen. And oh, let's see, you're very welcome as well, Terry. All right. What else we got? I think we're gonna play my favorite, my favorite Christmas carol of all time. So out of all the out of the four songs I'm gonna do today, this is like the only serious one. Um, I love it. I did a video of this last Christmas. And you guys circulated around a bunch. I think it got about twelve to fifteen thousand thousand views last year. So, cheers! Tell you what, being a musician is uh, not always easy, but at least you can schedule things like this 
and have an excuse to drink bush light at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Right? Anyways, Little Drummer Boy. Always been my favorite. My favorite version is Bob Seger's. Look it up after this broadcast. <laughs> I just love how uh, the thing the thing that, that strikes me about dogs and because obviously one thing I always feel bad about when I support these these pet charities is that there's humans in need as well and you guys last week suggested so many wonderful places we could donate this this money to um, the thing about dogs is that they're totally helpless without us so uh, that that's something that that really resonates with me. We're not going to stand up for them. If we're not going to help them out, then who is? Um, but this song is, is so great because it just comes from so much humility. You're talking about a boy who's just humble and he's going before the baby Jesus and he has nothing to offer because he's poor. And uh, all he has to do is play his little drum. So I've, I've always just loved this song. They told me about a pum pum A newborn king to see about a pum pum Our finest gifts we bring about a pum pum To set me for a king about a pum pum Rum pum pum, rum pum so to honor him, when we come, a little baby, Baram Bam Bam. I am a poor boy to Baram Bam Bam. I have no gift to bring but a rap and pum pum That's fit to give a king but a rap and pum pum Rap and pum pum, rap and pum pum So I'll play for you but a rap and pum pum On my drum Drummer Boy, my favorite Christmas carol of all time. One of my favorites as well. Jeff, thank you so much. So I got to fill my uh, glass up here real quick before we get to this this last one. Sam, you doing okay? You need another treat? Pour out a treat for me. And uh, then we'll pour out a treat for uh, old, old Sammy over here. Hope you all are doing well. Again, this is the last song of the day. Uh, I hope I hope that uh, you will consider donating. Again, 
either to that PayPal link, um, directly to coonhoundrescue.com, which I have the link for. Uh, on the comments, just, I don't I don't know where my where my message is on how you guys are seeing this. Um, or you can buy merchandise, and 25% of it will go uh, to Coonhound Rescue. Or again, at the very least, just share the video and tell your friends to share the video. Because every time you share the video, break my bank. I don't care. Just share it hundreds and thousands of times, and I will find a way to give a quarter for every single time it's shared. So that, at the very least, you can, you can do that. Um, this this is one of those family reunion songs that I always wish I could have. I could have a family, a Christmas family reunion like this. It's my, probably one of my favorite Christmas songs, other than Little Drum Boy. But we got one more tune. Man, this the time's going fast. We're already 22 minutes in, Sam. We're probably dragging on by now, aren't we? Dragging on. We're dragging on. Can you, can you sing for him? Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Let me hear you. Oh, oh, yeah, let me hear you. Sing for him. Sing for him. Let me hear you. Sing for him. Sing for him. Let me hear you. Oh, let me hear you. Sam, come here. Let me hear you. Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sam, come here. Let me hear you. I don't want to be the only one to have to sing today, buddy. All right, so one more song before I get the hell out of here for the day. Thank you so much for tuning in and hanging out with me, and I hope you all have a merry, merry, merry Christmas. Mom got drunk and dad got drunk at a Christmas party. We were drinking champagne punch, no one made Little sister brought a new boyfriend. He was a Mexican. We didn't know what to think of him till he sang. At least now we got At least now we got Well, the kid brought his kids with him. Three of his first wife twins. And the two identical twins from the second wife, Mary Nell. Of course, she brought his new wife, Kay. The talk was about hey, hey. She ain't smoking while the stereo plays. Noel, Noel, first Noel. Turkey turned the ball game on. It's Marguerite's when the end night's gone. Sends a bus to the quick patch store. And he's a monster in extension cold. Can of beans the best of Diana Rice. Box of Pampers and some Marlboro Lights. Hallelujah, everybody say cheese. Merry Christmas from the family. Fred and Rita drove from Harlem Jam. I can't remember how I'm kin to them. When they tried to put the motor home in the blue of Christmas lights. Cousin David knew just went wrong. So we all waited on the front lawn. He threw the breaker and the lights came on and the same silent night. Turn the ball game on. It's bloody bears, cause we all want one. Says the bud to the stop and go. We need some skiller and a can of flakes, no. Bag of lemons and some diet spine. Box of models and some Salem lights. Hallelujah, everybody say cheese. Merry Christmas from the family.
Oh, I tried to turn on like Pandora, like this nice little out of Christmas Carol, and it's on a fucking advertisement. Can you believe that, buddy? You say goodbye. You say goodbye. Folks, don't forget, share the video 25 cents every time you share. You can share it 50 times if you want. I don't care. I'll donate a quarter every single time. Go to the PayPal link and donate even a dollar to just 25 cents, 50 cents. Every little bit adds up. Um, go to QNRescue.com if you just want to make sure they get it directly. That is totally fine with me. I'm okay with that. And last but not least, if you just need yourself a Joe Sam Band t-shirt or hat for Christmas, and you want 25% of it to go to Canon Rescue, then go over to the website. There's a link down there, over there, over there, and uh, get yourself set up. Sam, you ready to go? You ready to go? All right, Merry Christmas, everybody. We'll see you next time. Tomorrow, I'm going to be at Dukes in Utica. Uh, Saturday, I'll be in Morris, Illinois, at Clayton's Tap. Sunday, Tuesday afternoon, I'll be at Morris Tap. Morts Pub in the South. So come see me, celebrate with me. Don't request Christmas carols, because this is my Christmas carol binge. So Cheers, everybody. Have a wonderful Thursday afternoon. We'll help out the coonhounds a little bit. Sam. Lemuria. Lemuria. Lemuria.